Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm going to do a nature journal flip. You know, I was so excited about starting my new journal the other day. I only have one page done so far. This is a Strathmore 500 series mixed media soft cover. And I was so excited about working on my nature junk journal made from a little golden book, Wonders of Nature. I got all my foundation pages prepped and two pages started that I forgot I had two journals that needed to be finished. So on this last one I had to finish the last page and on this page I did part three of my little trip down to the shore. First page I did the shells, second page I did some seaweed, on this page I did the gull that we saw and the beach rose. I'm pretty sure this is a ring-billed gull even though the tail seemed very dark but it may have been a young one because it still has some brown splotches on it. Sometimes these gulls can be confused because they change so much. The herring gull goes from brown to gray. And even at different stages, it has a, a black ring around the bill, which is one of the characteristics of the ring bill gull. And when the ring bill gull is younger, it also has these brown splotches. So sometimes it's easy to get these two confused. So I watched its behavior. It was swimming around in the shallows and every once in a while I'd take a little dunk to search for something. Another thing that I found interesting at the beach were the beach roses. The rose hip or the part that contains the seeds was so large compared to the other kinds of roses that I know. These are beach roses. Look at the rose hips. I drew this in uh, actual size and they get very red. So one of the common names for the beach rose is also beach tomato because it has huge hips that turn bright red. And I drew for comparison the rose hips on a multiflora rose bush that's growing up the lane. And you can see the difference. Another difference between these two plants is on the beach rose, the prickles are straight. And on the multiflora rose, they're curved backwards. So that finishes journal number 13. I will continue to add birds to my bird watch 2020. These are not all the birds that I see in the yard, but just new species. So every year I add on, so I'm up to 30 different species in the yard. So this book was a lot of fun to do. I'll do a little flip. Started off with a poem and some birds. There's a video for each one of these pages. Things done in red, watching the weather, mostly watercolor. A few times I use watercolor markers like to color in the letters. This is a lot of fun. A lot of these pages I use my Zoomy which is a little handheld microscope you hook to your computer to view things like lichen. On this page, I'm just looking at leaves. My third ordinary happiness is looking at leaves. Fancy font I made up for May Day. I started using a stamp to measure the rainfall.
lightning strike in a tree, big spider carrying an egg sack, just the plants and the animals I see in the yard. This was around Cinco de Mayo. I made a Mexican sombrero and underneath is a little jumping spider and it has a magnet to hold it on. I like to do cloud reports. On this page, I'm recording the progress of my zinnia seeds. I put the seed pack on the page and made a little information card about zinnia seeds. Recording the full moon. Full moon in May is the flower moon. Hummingbird at my petunias using my leg to measure the growth of the ferns in the yard. Here's my zinnia seed sprouting. Little bird that hit the front window. One thing I like to do is map out where everything in the yard is so I can go back and find it again. Noting buds on plants and trees and shrubs in the yard. Some mushrooms popping up. It's more about clouds and ferns, lots of ferns in the yard. Squirrel behavior, and I found a toad down in the garden. When you're nature journaling, you always have to look up and look down. I did a pen sketch of an unusual tree out in the woods. All kinds of things I found in the woods. Wild sarsaparilla, star flowers, ground pines. Canada Mayflowers, Rhododendron were blooming, some more flowers and some poison ivy, and a description of the cinnamon ferns. Two bird portraits, a male red-winged blackbird and the female, they're very different, so I drew both. I love this picture of the Jack in the Pulpit I drew down here. Portrait of a rose-breasted grosbeak. This is the male. More clouds. Trees and plants in the yard. This was my most exciting find. The wild azalea bushes growing in the woods. They were beautiful. Third kind of sphagnum moss I found in the yard and a little spring peeper. Plants, noting the moon phase, mushroom study, I saw, I saw a eastern tiger swallowtail, the garter snake was shedding its skin, a plant portrait of bone set, and should do more of these, plant studies, spiders, and vines, and ladybird beetles and spittle bugs and the egg sac hatched and the mama spider was carrying all the babies around on her back some slime mold full rose moon tiger beetle lots of dragonflies in the yard latuka wild lettuce monarch butterfly Damselfly, how ferns reproduce. My very first blue gray gnat catcher was out in the yard, big crane fly. I'm noting the development of the little seeds in the jack in the pulpit. My sighting of a white squirrel up the lane. Butterflies and bumblebees and red mite. Pond hawk dragonfly. The mountain laurel were blooming. Another ladybug. I found a fern prothallus, which was exciting. Another uh, damselfly. Oh, this was a field trip to Ten Mile River. Some of the sights I saw on the way. Comparing daisies and flea banes. Another dragonfly. Um, Daddy Longlegs, harvestman. 
flowers on the smartweed, a little lightning bug. On, this was a lot of fun, unraveling one of these leaf houses on the ferns to see what was inside. I found a little inhabitant. A slug on some slime. Playing with rocks. Doing a turtle rescue. More clouds and plants and insects. Bumblebee on the clover. Some galls on the grapevines. Possum in the backyard eating a mashed banana pudding I left out for the butterflies. Catbird in the yard. On this page, I took the garnets that I chipped out that I chipped out of one of the rocks and glued them on. And a little, uh, what's it called? This is the blue winged warbler. Saw down the lane, another dragonfly, and then my trip to the beach. So now I have number 13 finished, and I realized I needed to go back and finish number 12. And to finish this one up, I had made a gate at the beginning out of a folded brochure that we got at the Florence Griswold Museum. And the first thing I did was cut it so it looks like a fancy gate, painted it black. I glued it in on the first page. And then I collaged it with pictures from my book, Curious Naturalist. I've been ripping a lot of pages out of this book and using it as collage. And I added to it with a white gel pen. This is a uniball, white gel pen. Uh, part of a poem from Mary Oliver called The Summer Day. And this is my little secret garden. I wanted to start the journal with a quote or a poem. I got carried away with making it very fancy. This book was started at the beginning of the COVID-19 virus crisis, and COVID sounds like Corvid, and Corvids are like crows and ravens and those kinds of birds, blackbirds. And so on my first page, I drew 19 Corvids, because it reminded me of COVID. This page, I just splashed some watercolor and did some doodles because I was in the mood to doodle. This book isn't exactly in order because I had skipped some pages and then I came back and filled them in. And I started 100 days of nature journaling straight through every day. On this page, I like, I put the colors of the day. I wish I had done that on more days. This was on Arbor Day, and I did a special page with the Green Man, who's always associated with the trees. This page was not a nature journaling page, but one day I decided to draw some apples I had in my fruit bowl. And this is watercolor with colored pencil on top. And I did this one on March 1st. I decided to do an interactive nature journaling page and I had seen a American woodcock or timber doodle down the road. And as they strut across the street, they puff out their chest, a little dance to impress the ladies. So I decided to make a page that was interactive to show how they dance. This is the American woodcock or timber doodle. Now this page is just a copy of something I gave to somebody else. I just stuck it in there to remind me of it. This was a little poem. And I went out every day, like I said, for 100 days, mostly doing weather reports and clouds and trees. Found a gall, oak gall. How the ferns were growing, I found a frog this day. 
Sometimes I zoom in, use the microscope on lichens and mosses. Here I'm recording the full moon for March. And this is just a sticker from my rain, not a rain gauge, a weather station. Club moss. On this page, I drew three different puddles and made some observations and played with mud and drew two robins that were in the yard. And robins use mud in their nest building. These two pages are all about rocks and boulders and the sizes of rocks and what they're called. So a spring azure butterfly sights out the window. There were some deer in the yard. Behavior from the brown-headed cowbirds. I found the mineral kyanite on a sparkly rock in my backyard. More observations around the yard, doing a study on different kinds of shelf mushrooms, looking for turkey tails. This is the one I was looking for. Did some mapping in the yard. So just noting where everything is, the ferns and the summer sweets, shin leaves, mushrooms. Here I pasted a wind speed chart. I like this one because it tells you how to gauge the wind by the motion in trees. So like Number five, a fresh breeze, 19 to 24 miles per hour, the large branches are swaying, or just the leaves are moving, or the whole tree is moving. Did a lot of stamping on this page. Sprouts and sporophytes, squirrel behavior, some more mapping, some more zooming in on moss and lichens, this day, it was so sunny and nice, I just sat out in the clearing and did a quick watercolor. Saw some blue butterflies. More zooming in with the microscope on moss. Full moon in April, shining through the trees. More rock stories. Shape of raindrops. I made a funny little tree here with a face, a little poem to go with it. Uh, what is this? Fungus growing on a twig, some moss. There's a little bud study with the buds and the leaves from last year. I did do a little color study on this one, noting which colors of paint I used to paint the leaves. Deconstructing a flower, the stem cross section, the inside parts of the flower, a little mapping, more spring flowers, difference between sedges and rushes and grass, a little bit about red maples, this is about a sedge. In the background on this page, this is just one of the scales that was on the top of the sedge. I just use it like a background. An exceptional liverwort living on a tree. Phenology is the study of when things happen in a plant or animal's life cycle in relation to seasonal changes so example would be to note when the buds burst open into blossoms in the spring. Bumblebees and blueberries. We had some slushy snow. I noted that with using the ruler. Some frost on a leaf. How trees grow, gravitrophism. This was a walk into the woods. Some things I saw, noteworthy, a tree growing off a rock, the spring seep was running, a garter snake in a tree with woodpecker holes in it, two winter crane flies mating, saw a purple violet, little goblet moss, a study of some lichen, 
I love this picture of the mullein basil rosette. Came out so delicate. A little peek at a pileated woodpecker out the window, flying through the trees, and then I saw it behind the uh, what we call habitat, the pile of sticks in the yard. Earth Day did the sky from the ethereal to the sedimentary, which is a rock, to the minuscule, which was some tiny moss. And the last page was an unusual cloud formation. It's called mackerel sky. So I had to draw a picture of a mackerel because I wasn't sure what they look like. Match it to the clouds in the sky. So that was number 12. So now that 12 and 13 are done, I can focus on number 14. Now remember, every page has a video. If you want to go to the playlist, you can see it. And my junk journal. So thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye.